to another vlog. I'm currently getting um, my clothes together. I have a bread winning housewife shoot. First off, we need to sit for a second. These next few days are good. I leave for Cabo on Thursday. So this is gonna be like a Monday through Wednesday vlog. Today we have a red wedding housewife shoot. Tomorrow, McGuire and I are going furniture shopping and I also am going to be sharing like hauls in this vlog. So I have a bunch of bikinis. I have my clothes for Cabo. You guys will see everything. I'm getting a spray tan at the house. This is a mix of a red wedding housewife shoot, Cabo prep and furniture house stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. This past weekend, I started a Kinsey's Dallas dating show on TikTok, like a new series. And it is going so well. I'm just putting all my friends on. All my friends are single besides like three of like 30. So um, I'm putting them all on TikTok and we have seen great success. It's like really fun. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I eventually like run out of people to post. Maybe I'll expand cities i don't really want to do that though um maybe it'll just come to an end and we'll just like update them we'll see how their dating lives go yeah go follow me on tiktok it's kinsey the texan we also went to electric shuffle this weekend and we've gone before like our friends like the place i went to the launch my friends love going with the guys love electric shuffle we had like the brunch thing go watch my tiktok it's on my reels and stuff it was so much fun i have so many dallas directs right now but anyways um it's gonna be a really good week i'm very excited I have been getting at my clothes like prepped. I've been prepping looks. My new couch is a game changer. Um, and I'm gonna go try them all on. I need to leave in about an hour and I have to shower before then. So I'm gonna try the looks on and then share with you guys and then shower and then head over. Actually getting my makeup and hair done, which I'm really excited about. I'll share that with you guys and then we're shooting and then tonight I have Pilates and blah, 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 whatever. It's gonna be a good day. I went on my morning matcha walk, which I've been loving. I do like later workouts. So I get my morning matcha walk in. Like there's just, there's nothing like it, but I will say it was cold today. Yes, last week the weather was so beautiful. It was like the best thing ever. Look number one, we have a breadwinning housewife crew. I have these biker shorts that are from Amazon. And then I'm gonna wear these sneakers with like bunched up white socks. Look number two, but with this quarter zip, I got this in a size XL. I kind of, I want it to be like really oversized. So this one is a size XL. By the way, all these are available now. I'll have them linked below. Same shoe sock combo. Um, and then of course I can always wear this, but I think this I have a different vision for. All right, so these sweatpants, by the way, are the most comfortable sweatpants I think I've ever worn. They're so soft, but this is like the quarter zip Set, very country club. I'm pretty sure I'm just wearing this with the white sneakers, everything with white sneakers. I have my mood boards, everything's planned out. I think that this one is gonna be with a Louis bag that I'm borrowing from McGuire and I need to get, actually it might not be. Oh, you know what this is? is I've seen, this is very like Princess Diana inspired and she wears like cowboy boots with this. It might be crazy, but like you'll have to understand the look to really fully grasp this. It looks wild, but again, I think the photos, it will be good. And then I have this black blazer from Zara, which by the way, is like almost the perfect blazer. My most perfect one yet. So I have this with these boots. I'm actually into it. Very Princess Diana, cute. I'm living for it. So we have that one. We have jeans, these jeans are Abercrombie. My boots, blazer, crew, hat. We also have my coffee tumbler and my um, tote downstairs that I'm just not trying on yet. But I love this. I love it with the boots tucked in. I think that's perfect. These jeans are Abercrombie from my last vlog. Absolutely incredible. I'm gonna like tuck this in to my bra so it like hits perfect, but Breadwinning housewife. I mean, this is so cute. I am on such a Tim McGraw kick these days. McGuire is the best, and she's letting me borrow her duffel to recreate these photos. I'm gonna go pick up a tennis tracker from Taryn after this, but I'm getting my makeup and my hair done. I'll show you guys that. I have all my clothes ready. I stopped and got a coffee. I know I already got a matcha this morning, but like, sometimes you still need a coffee, you know? Coffee order is on the highlight on my Instagram. It's so good. I'm wearing my cute Breadwinning housewife stuff. I just got 
got my makeup and hair done. Gabby did it. It was incredible. Another great Dallas makeup artist. Um, she also did my hair though, so. I'm feeling great. It's currently 2.09. I'm at Sweet Green. Would you guys believe that I actually haven't gone to Sweet Green and just had it picked up? Like this is my first time actually going in to the Sweet Green at West Village. They're opening one in Deep Ellum, but anyways, I have a shoot in 50 minutes. So I'm gonna go in, eat, and then head off. I'm still shooting in Uptown, so I'm like pretty much here already. I'm just so excited. Tonight I have Pilates, which I'm really not feeling going to. Um, especially because like I have my makeup done. Like I don't want to like just go take it off. It just feels so right, and it's right across the street from Soul Cycle. Got the Harvest Bowl. I miss the Hollywood Bowl. It's not a thing anymore. It's just beautiful. All right, y'all. I forgot to take some shots while we were shooting. But I hope you guys saw the photos. I love my makeup today. I love my hair. Unfortunately, I'm about to go work out. So that's all we have. But I have about an hour and a half into my workout. I think I'm gonna drive there and like literally just get work done on my phone. That is the plan. The dogs have someone coming in and out today to take them out. But I'm so excited for this shoe. I'm just getting like more creative and doing things that I'm like really excited about. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm working and watching the American Country Music Awards and I'm not kidding, I have teared up like four or five different times. It's really embarrassing, but Dolly is hosting, but also it's just, it's so cute seeing people's dreams come true. Like I'm crying. Morning, guys. Oh my God, it's cold. I'm about to head off to spin class. I have my water, best water bottle ever linked below. I'm wearing, I'll show you guys, this like year of our set. So, matching top and bottom. This is like a high neckline. It's super cute. It's like bright pink. But, anyways, it's seven. I'm off to spin. I will talk to you guys after. Good morning. I'm wearing my jeans that I got from Abercrombie. I love them. I just made some coffee, even though I'm about to get coffee. I'm just so tired. I went to spin this morning at seven, and then I came home, got ready, and I've just been sitting here getting some work done. But I'm gonna do a little bit of a Combo haul for y'all. This stuff is surprise surprise Abercrombie. I'm like really having a moment This is actually my third like large order from them in the past Probably two or three weeks, but I love their stuff tomorrow. I'm gonna go through my swimsuit haul. I Ordered suits from Aerie weeks ago. I haven't even looked at them or tried them on but I just like it'll be fine Dress number one. I have this cute Pink dress. I thought this would just be like I don't even know Nice for a dinner or a lunch or even just like as a cover-up. Really pretty vacation dress. I will be vlogging my trip and I will be taking so many photos and so many TikToks so you guys will see these outfits everywhere. I got this dress. I don't know if I'm going to wear it to Cabo or not yet. I haven't. We'll pack tomorrow. We'll get there. But it's just like a white structured dress. Kind of like a staple. I feel like in everyone's closet. It's hard to wear though when you have fake tanner on which I do pretty much all the time. Okay, I have this two-piece set. Here is the top, and then I have the bottoms right here. So nice. Next, I have this set, which I think is so cute. Actually, one of my like, really good friends also bought this set, and we got them in the mail the same day. We didn't even realize, just in different colors. So I have this skirt. That's really a skirt, which we love. I definitely want to wear this, so Maybe like Saturday by the time my self tanner has kind of come off a little bit. And then this white top, I just thought that was so cute. I also got this pink dress, which I am like obsessed with it. I think it's the prettiest pink, but it's just so fun. Like I will definitely be wearing this to dinner one night. <laughs> cute. And then also I got another just, ooh. Just like white dress. I don't know if I'll wear this to Cabo, but I'll definitely like wear this in general. I think it's cute. So yeah, I will link that stuff below. I literally just got done linking my other Abercrombie haul for the last vlog. So that's what we have. Oh, I also have these shoes from Steve Madden. So I don't, I'm not like a huge sandals girl and I don't really have sandals at all. So I was like, shoot, what am I gonna wear in Cabo? It's really picky when it comes to sandals. Oh, these are cute. Wow, these are so cute. And then I got the same pair in black. I feel like I'm gonna wear these all the time. I love these. I'm not a sandals girl, but I love these. So I'll have them linked below for you guys. Um, I'm gonna put these over here. 
My plans got pushed back today, so I'm actually having a little recording session. I'm recording a little solo episode. I'm drinking a poppy root beer. After that, hopefully I'm going furniture shopping, so this situation will get better. Look at him. All right, I've been working for the past few hours, but sometimes I look at Fitz and I'm just convinced he's gonna say something. Like, I am convinced. I'll just ask him a question one day and he's gonna talk. I just think that he is. <sighs> Isn't that right, Fitz? Look at how tough he looks. And then look at him. Just so sweet. Such a sweet pup. He loves this couch, by the way. To put in perspective, like, it's a big couch, guys. It's small for a sectional, but it's a big couch. Fitz is like 65 pounds. So. All right, here is the look. I think my vlogs have gotten better solely because I have this tripod and it makes me vlog better. This sweater is Revolve. Coat is my classic Coke from H&M, which I actually haven't been wearing lately. None of that was English, which I actually haven't been wearing lately. These jeans are Abercrombie and they look so cool with the boots. Anyways, I love this look. I'm about to go pick up McGuire. We're gonna go to Foxtrot, furniture shopping, and then we have an event at Highland Park Village for National Women's Day. So, cute. We're so booked. A very leisurely afternoon. Why all of a sudden is the lighting bad? Anyways, guys, I'm with McGuire. We're at Foxtrot. I got the New Orleans and Oat Milk that they now have here, which is my favorite order if you watch the LA vlogs or watch my vlogs when I'm in LA, New York. It's just so incredible. But matcha's better. Yeah, I, I like matcha better. What do you think? I love Foxtrot in general. But I'm like really picky with getting coffee out. Like I like making my own coffee, but I like getting matcha out. See, same. I don't like when I make matcha at home. Yeah. Like I have the nice fancy. I used to make it at home and I would make it actually, I got to the point where it was good like over quarantine. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about that the other day. I couldn't tell you how I used to do that. I don't even remember. I have to go watch my own videos to remember how I did that. You're supposed to add like hot water to it. And do you like the it. whisk thing? But it still doesn't. It's the like Alfred whisk thing too. But I have the Alfred matcha. Yeah, me too. The kit. But it doesn't. No, I just got the matcha when I was in last time. We need to get the kit. It doesn't. Um. What? Like, we need to become. That's our next thing. We'll that's. We'll shave our faces. We'll figure out how to make great we'll matcha from home. Yeah, we'll be baristas. Baristas. Literally. I have my coffee. We're going furniture shopping. Yeah. Oh. But it's well, fine. The way, like, you can tell it's a nice dresser. Besides that, by the way it slides out. Yeah. Like, that's the issue. This yeah, that's the right. one. Just don't open that one. You'll be fine. Because, like, the rest of them are fine. Yeah. And I was sitting on the ground going, <laughs> Fuck. Guys, I was like, where's my phone? And then McGuire looks out the window. <laughs> In case you were wondering, <laughs> my phone right here we found it so don't, don't worry guys <laughs> that is so we were back at bird bakery latte working gals um i got a soup tomato bay is not my favorite soup everyone it is later i am home doing my blue light therapy i have relaxing jazz music playing gonna edit some tiktoks and here we are i know you guys love when i vlog with the face incredible event at dr barbara sturm it's kind of hard to see through here had an incredible event tonight it's just really cool being surrounded by such strong women I think one of the biggest things in my life that matters the most to me is empowering women. So I can't take myself seriously. Anyways, the event was incredible though, and I'm really grateful to have been invited. It was a good day, um, but I'm going to get a little bit more work done, read, go to bed, drink some tea, probably sit with this for about 30 minutes. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. Today is the day that I really prep for Cabo. Oh wow, this lighting. 
I need to pack. I have to get work done. I have calls, meetings, whatever. In the morning, I'm going to go on a long walk and then do 12, 3.30 as my workout. It is cold out. Last week, it was so beautiful out. And now, it's like 40 degrees, which is warmer than it's been in the mornings. I'm going to walk and get matcha and then do... 12 3 30 guys i really want an aura ring also i have my boys light socks on but i really want an aura ring that would like help because i could track my steps when i do 12 3 30 too but i don't want an apple watch so anyway it's just me and the pups look at them look at him i love you he's about to start talking and his voice i used to think it'd be like a toddler voice and now i think it's like a distinguished gentleman you know shake your head yes or no if you can talk yes okay i feel crazy but i just like know we can talk look at the little angel this morning cutie oh my gosh you look so angelic oh so cute oh okay well you're not talking so I ended up going on a matcha walk and then I got 10,000 steps in on the treadmill. I'm getting a spray tan tonight, so I need to exfoliate, shave, I like do everything. I'm starting to pack for Cabo, I need to try on outfits, new clothes, I'm gonna give you a little swimsuit haul. I'm just so excited to have a tan, it's gonna be so nice. Just got out of the shower, I'm doing this again and I'm gonna edit. And then we have to get to packing for whatever reason, it's really overwhelming me today. Um, like literally for no reason. So, and I have to do a try on when I just like completely exfoliated my entire body. And I, you know, no tan, very, very pale, so it's not my fave. All right, this is partially a try-on haul. These are Abercrombie shorts. I got them in a size 27. They're the 90s relaxed cuff shorts. I'm so picky with denim shorts, and I love these. So I'm definitely going to wear these, and then I might just, like, as, like, an easy fit or something, throw this on with it. I don't know. I'm taking photos so I can put them in, like, a note app. I'm a visual girl. I've got to have things organized. These are also incredible. I'm literally obsessed with Abercrombie these days. They are the four inch mom short high rise. Like they really are just so flattering and they cover you like well. I'm so picky again with denim shorts and I just love these. This is just so cute. It's from Zara. Um, I love it. Like it's just classy, cute. I feel like I need black shoes with this so i'm gonna go try them on with black heels or something but like unbelievably cute i have these revolve strappy heels i'm gonna hate myself at night but like it's cute you know all right so obviously this dress is so cute abercrombie i have like the shoes that look cuter with it that are strappy but they're less comfortable and then i have my really comfy ones which i'll just have in case um but i love this dress Another really really cute set like I love this with cowboy boots like in Texas and I'm gonna wear it with heels in Cabo I just think it's so cute. So this will be another dinner look. All right. This is a casual day-to-day -day outfit It's kind of like too long, you know, like the skirt feels really long But I'll probably be wearing this this skirt at least like over a swimsuit or whatever I still think it's cute even if I just have it. I don't know. It just feels a little bit long I'm gonna bring it, um, but I'm not like completely obsessed. I think it just needs to be like shorter on the top and shorter as a skirt. This dress is also really cute. Um, I don't have anyone to zip it up for me right now, so it looks like unflattering. Anyways, this will be another like casual. I'm bringing an outfit for every night, a cute outfit for every day, and then like a pool outfit for every day. So it's a short trip. It's only Thursday to Sunday, but still lots of outfits. This dress is really cute. I was thinking like beach cover up, but it might actually be like a night out dress. I don't know because I can't really wear a swimsuit over this. I don't know. We'll see. It's super cute though. Like I really love this in general. I love the dress. All right. So here is swimsuit number one. This is from Aerie. Actually all my suits that I ordered are from Aerie. I think it's really cute. I feel like secure and like it's very flattering. I always take out the padding out of the top. Also, this is from the Okind. Very exciting. Obviously not launched yet, but I'm gonna bring it on the trip to wear as like a swimsuit kind of cover up. But it needs to be steamed. Like look at how official this is. It's so crazy. Anyway, so I need to have that there. But this is 
one of the swimsuits. All right, next one is blue. Love this again. I just live for airy bathing suits. Like, they make me feel very confident, very comfortable. I just love them. Guys, I'm like literally crying right now. I never film. Um, I don't think I've actually ever filmed when I'm crying, but I'm still in the middle of packing. Um, I just had some like really crazy email. It is just truly my year work-wise. I like getting so emotional and I like, oh my God. One, we are looking into live shows right now. If you guys live in New York and you would come to a live show, let me know. I literally was just crying because, I mean, like, not just that. There was just so many other things that I'm like, oh my god, I've actually, like, been working towards this stuff for, like, almost a decade. And my life is so much better than I could have ever imagined it being. I've stopped crying now, but I was, like, actually crying, crying, just, like happy tears i can't I, like i don't even know i'm just so grateful i love you guys so much wow but i need to keep packing um wow it's just crazy all right we've made some major progress i have my stuff ready i'm also bringing everyone okine tote bags so those are probably actually gonna go in there i'm not really sure this is not bad um but i did decide to check a bag just because honestly i didn't feel like going downstairs to get my smaller carry-on like it's fine doesn't matter of course i have all my cowboy hats i'm gonna wear them like this too this will be me in the airport tomorrow guys actually i'm not kidding that's the thing <laughs> With my management, it's actually something really cool and like great that they do. Um, if you work in like PR management, what honestly anywhere, but I feel like this is just normal. This would be a good idea for any job. Sorry about Coco, but um, we do two anti-racism trainings a year. We've done anti-racism, um, and then we did an anti-Semitism one today. My step siblings, for those of you who don't know, I have a huge family, but. Um, I have some siblings who are triplets and they are Jewish, so I grew up around it, obviously. It's something like very near and dear to my heart. I'm in the middle, I'm rushing talking about this because I have to get on a call in one minute. Anyways, though, if you work in like PR, management, anything like that, or really any job, and I just feel like it's not as common to do for like influencers when you have a manager, whatever, um, I think it's a really incredible thing to do. It's mandatory for all of us and... I think it should be, I think it should be in every business. Like it, when we grow the Okine, I definitely want to do stuff like that. Um, anyways, incredibly important. I'm really grateful that I'm with such great management that does things like that. It's also very near and dear. It's just something I really care about. I think everyone should care about. So yeah, anyways, I'm joining another meeting and my food just arrived. Ooh, my God, I'm so cold. I always have this Brooklinen blanket. Okay, this is not gonna work. Let's have a nice chat. I saw a comment, by the way, from one of y'all saying to get drapes in this section. <laughs> I'm really exhausted today. So I can cover up the door handle so it doesn't look like it's a door. So I finished this ugly light is driving me insane, but I finished my calls and my meetings today, packing, I'm pretty much done. I have like two hours to edit a vlog, so I'm gonna get to work on that. Dallas 180 is coming over tonight and giving me a nice spray tan. I also got so many emails today from like potential podcast guests that are, I do like outreach. I don't expect like everyone to respond or anything like that at all. Actually, like sometimes you just kind of reach the reach for the stars, you know what I mean? But I'm like shockingly, there's people that I've like dreamed of having on the podcast. And I emailed them and the people email back and they like love the podcast. They are listeners already. And they're like on their teams. So we're like talking about scheduling now, which is just crazy. Like I am just so grateful for, and it's all because of you guys. But on the other hand, I am just getting like really anxious, I think. And I was getting very stressed and I hadn't even had coffee. I'm drinking coffee now because I'm so tired and I have so much work to do. Just looking at my calendar over the next few months and things just keep popping up like shows and obviously now i'm a co-founder of a company that's launching in april and we have so much in the past next month that we're doing for that i have so much traveling i have so much podcast stuff like i don't think people realize like how time consuming things are and then i'm adding on a whole other thing that is also so time consuming which like these are all good problems to have and obviously i'm like choosing to do them and i feel like the luckiest girl in the world and i'm so grateful but i will say there is a side of this 
that I get really anxious and just stressed out. So anyways, oh, I got the Breadwinning Housewife photos back. Guys, they are the best photos I've ever taken. My favorite shoot I've ever done. My favorite photos I've ever taken. They are so cool. It's Princess Diana themed. They're all on my Instagram. Go look at them. They're coming from this vlog. Comment that you're coming from the vlog. But like, my best photos I've ever seen in my life. I cannot, oh my God. So anyways, I'm gonna finish editing this vlog and then like really try to take it easy tonight after I get my spray tan and just like get cozy and have everything be done. Because when I get back on Monday and Tuesday, I have a ton of stuff to do and then also prep for the Okines big photo shoot, which is on Wednesday, which is obviously like massive. It's like our launch photos, it's two months of content, it's two drops, like it's a ton of stuff. So I'm just excited though. Like I'm really truly like living my dream life. I, I say dream life all the time. And it's just because it's like something that I say, but like I actually am living my dream life and it's because of you guys and I just love you guys so much and I hope that all of you don't want to die because of that yellow light up there because I kind of do. Dallas 180 just left and I got my spray tan. Of course, the night before vacation, I have a breakout in the middle of my face. Fabulous. Sitting here drinking my water. I'm almost all packed. I'm feeling way less anxious now. Wow. Feeling good about life, everyone. Anyways, I'm almost done packing. I really hope this breakout goes away, guys. Like, that's not, it's not ideal. Not ideal at all. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Stay tuned for a combo vlog. Very exciting stuff. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. And it's so hard to wake up every single day and look in the mirror and like know that you have value, know that you have worth, and that you're intelligent, smart, and beautiful, and all these things. So for me now, I definitely still have so much confidence. I always will, I think, but to, to